Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. I'm Karen, this is Leo, and today we're going to be showing you our brand new craft kit, Spring Meadow. I'm really excited to be showing you this kit. It's an absolute dream to work with. Leo, you've done so much with this. I have. This one is also a sneak peek of our upcoming trend, Spring Meadows. You're going to get a couple of little hints in here of what's to come. <gasps> and uh, yes, I did a lot of projects with that trend for... Magazine. A magazine. That you, can, you, can say, <laughs> you can say, you can say, you can definitely say. But yes, our upcoming in some time magazine. Um, so there'll be a lot more to see in there. So definitely look out for that. But let's have a look. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? The exciting part. Definitely. So where should we start? Dice it first? Should we get it on Yeah. Out? Let's get rid of this box. Here we go. I'll chuck this. You got that? There and we, we go. Got a little bag of Nuvo. Of course. Which obviously, every time we do one of these videos, I say it every time. I would use that bag. <laughs> it's such a pretty pattern on there. It really is. And on this. this. Yeah. Yeah. It matches. Yeah. There you go. We'd all use all that. Already. We'd use all of that. Recycle your packaging. Definitely. Nuvo we... first. Whoa. Avalanche. Ah, I love it. I love it all. We can get rid of all of these then, can't we? What do we have? Do you want to... Ta-da! Ta-da! So, our kit this time is using the Delicate Decor gift box, which is a super cute box, which we'll be having a look at a little bit closer shortly. Dice it first then. Nice and simple for this one. Here we go. If I take that out of there, you can actually You've see got that. instructions. Yep, so you do have your instructions, which are this. honestly so simple. Die cut this twice and stick it together. Basically. Here is your box. Yeah. <laughs> nice and easy. <laughs> but so, they've yeah. thought of everything. They've even thought of instructions for this. So. We don't it's have a top-down nice. camera, so I'm going to have to change how I do this. We have this camera here today, so hopefully you can see this nicely in here. So this is your main die panel that is going to make your construction thank you very much helping hands there and then we have lots of decorative panels you've got the two panels that will fit in here mm -hmm. obviously you've got your decor pieces that you can recut twice if you want the same pattern that's right so you've bottom. got the option of two different patterns yeah you've got these lovely extra pieces here as well for the sides for your little yeah curved tops you've got a couple of sentiments i'm guessing that's a Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was really hard to read backwards and upside down. <laughs> All right, we've got some nice deboss sentiments in here as well. So we've got a thanks for you and a with love. Two nice gift tag sizes as well. And a nice little deboss detail up oh, here. Oh, that's a nice one. That's to go on the little, on the, yeah. these little pieces here, on the little corner pieces. And a couple of the boxes have that on so we can uh, run oh, through fun. that when we go through fun. the samples. And then we also have the stamp set that goes with it. Um, so again, a couple of decorative pieces. Obviously, you can cut your very nice, nice. Oval with that. Yes. You've got the patterned piece that you could stamp in rather mm -hmm. than die cut if you wanted to. And then a couple more sentiments. We have a made with love to a special friend just for you and with all my love. Oh, those are lovely because those nice can sentence. just be used for any occasion. Absolutely. And they're a nice size as mm -hmm. well. So it'll be great for using on lots of other projects too. Fabulous. So the so. kit is available in the UK uh, if you subscribe, it's £30. In the US, it's $33. And if you want to get it on a one-off payment, um, it's £35 in the UK and £39.99 in the USA. And don't forget, if you're our kit subscriber, you do then get a code that will give you 10% off our store for everything else that you might want. So uh, great Anything. deal on that. It's amazing. That, that Get that PCK in there. Exactly. Fantastic. Exactly. Stuck up on all your supplies. Fabulous. So, Nouveau next, oh, my favourite part of the gift. I know, I know, you really <laughs> like this. We'll let you, you've got some little samples as well, I do, you? I have done a little swatch of some of these, just so we can show them off a little bit more for you. So we have an embossing powder, a little sample size for you. This is in the shade Frayed Leaf, which is this gorgeous kind of springy green colour in here. It's a very nice colour. Kind of pistachio green, I It would is, say. it is, and it's got a lovely sheen to it. Yeah, it's a really nice one there. Very nice. We then have an ink pad, one of our lovely Nouveau Hybrid inks. This is in 
And Karen's gonna laugh at me here. This is in the shade French Macaroon. <laughs> I would have said Macaron, but we'll go with Macaroon. <laughs> But it's a really nice vanilla shade of ink. Um, now you might be thinking, what on earth am I gonna do with that? So I have done a little sample here where I've actually made the box up and I've actually used it to sort of age the edges um, all that around is here. That's definitely what I would be using that yeah, for. Yeah, so edging your layers, distressing, mm -hmm. exactly. But you could also stamp, I guess, on a slightly different color cardstock. You so could. it does show up on you white could. very nicely. Yep. So you could do that too if you wanted sort of a more delicate mm -hmm. stamp. Um, I guess no line watercolor would probably be a perfect oh, use be, for that it really would because really you would, would have that really sort of soft edge you could then watercolor over as mm -hmm. well or even alcohol marking if you wanted mm -hmm. to if you don't want to see the edges of your image so very very couple good. of different options there we then have a stone drop which is in the shade crushed aloe and um, so again another nice green shade in here and you get all that lovely texture in your stone drop that's lovely and a super cute mini sparkle spray. I love these, they are so adorable. Um, and this one is in the shade Cream Gold, um, which is a lovely pale gold color. And I really hope that you can see just how pale that is. That is it's beautiful. almost like a silvery gold. It's very hard yeah, to... Yeah, it, it's... How it's would you rich it? though, it's, it, is. it is a rich <laughs> color. It's, it's very, very nice. You've got the beautiful sheen of the sparkle spray, mm -hmm. but you have got that nice, almost a coffee colour yes. beneath. Yeah, indeed. It's not just gold. There's no. There's more tones to it as well. So it's beautiful. Really re pretty. Yeah, I really like that. A couple of extras <gasps> too. Oh, we love some extras. And we have these beautiful square gems, which are again in this gorgeous sort of cream colour, very soft. Like a champagne. Um, yeah. Almost like a champagne. Champagne. The whole trend is really a very soft colour palette. Lots of greens, buttery yellows, creams. You did so well with this. It was absolutely amazing. Thank you. I can't, <laughs> when you you see a, a trend and they look so lovely together, but until you start working with it, you don't realise just how well all these pieces are going mm -hmm. to go. And Leo made so many projects using this trend. I was just for the very magazine. inspired, and sort of one yeah. thing just led me to yeah. the next, basically. And, and the you did helped. so much stuff. So you did from home decor to cards to gifts and things. Lots, as well. lots yeah. of things. Beautiful. Definitely look out for that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. What else we got then? Ah, ribbon. Hello. So this is a grow grain ribbon. Which can I just? Of course you can. Can I? Can I hold on? Let me find. We should have. have. I was gonna look for the. There is a little. There is a little join somewhere, isn't there? But am I gonna get it? Who's gonna get that first? Should we just get the scissors in there? Yeah. Snip. Probably the biggest pair of scissors that we could find. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's overkill? Maybe a little bit. There you Maybe go. a little bit. But look at look that. that nice wide grow grain ribbon and then shape. Beautiful buttermilk. So again, another creamy. Really pretty shade, gorgeous. It's a nice structural ribbon, this, and I love the texture in a grow grain ribbon. I like grow grain. Perfect for tying bows because it does have that sort of heavier structure. Do you know what it. I like to do with these though? I like the loopy bows. You know where yes. you glue and you glue at the centre and yeah. you, you wrap around and yeah, I like so those rather ones. than a tie bow, one that you yeah, one that you glue together. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it has that nice sort of meatiness to it. That kind it of does. weight to it. It does. It does. Its shape it does hold its shape. So, yeah, and very nice. Everyone's favourite red line tape because, well, we love the stuff, let's be honest. <laughs> How much of this do we go through? Um, I mean, if we just look at the floor, <laughs> you can probably tell how much of this we go through. <laughs> to Alex's chagrin, he loves when we've been crafting in here. He right? really does. Especially really when Jodie's been in, because it's just like she's gone like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she does like to use, because it's, it's a amazing for, for just... Your quick construction when yeah. you know you need to get something done really quickly, yeah. instant grab, and mm -hmm. you haven't got to have any drying time. Exactly. So. And last but not least, we have these beautiful, this is a confetti this time. So this is an opal cream, and I don't know that this is going to pick up enough. Alex will tell me if you can see. So it has this pinky, 
It is picking up perfect. Oh, so fantastic. it's like a cream undershade, but it has all of these beautiful holographic pinks and purples. And I think it's like um, well. an Aurora Borealis coating. Yeah, on exactly. It. So lots of gorgeous colour. And a couple of girls have used these for shakers, and I think it's a perfect for this. But also for the centres of a couple of flowers too. Fantastic. Just in a slightly different nice way. Nice big blob of glue. Bobby Dazzler. A nice Bobby Dazzler. A nice, big, <laughs> a nice big blob of glue. And then tip a load of them on, see what sticks, yeah. leave it till it cools, and then away, shake it off, and That's you can it. keep what keep what it doesn't hold. Exactly. Because it all just goes back in your bottle. Yeah. That's a great way of making embellishments you can add anyway. So one of your messy yeah. mats, one yes. of Yeah, one of the, 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 the mat that goes on here. Yeah. And it'll just peel right off. Nice bit of hot glue. Yeah. Fantastic. Using that lovely new hot glue gun that we just released as Indeed. Well. Indeed. Very, very good. Because you need a hot, hot, hot glue gun. Hot glue. Yeah, you want it to stay hot on yeah. the mat so you've got time to pour everything Exactly. On, but it will give you that nice rounded, domed little embellishment that you can then use for Fabulous. anything you want. Fabulous. So then, oh, should last, we go to the papers? last but by no means least, move everything out of the way. Definitely. And I like that the first paper in here is... The big one. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> so we have this gorgeous new shade of glitter paper, and this is called, I'm going to check this now, Lemon Sherbet, which is probably the perfect name for that Definitely. colour. Definitely. It couldn't possibly have been anything else, could it? It's fabulous, isn't it? It's a nice bright pop of yellow. Mm -hmm. And what is this beautiful soft trend? But it kind of gives you that that pop that you need sometimes to you give do. projects that little bit extra you something. Do. Yeah. So, Lemon Sherbet Glitter Card. Fantastic. This one then. Oh, oh I love this. <laughs> we both said this. When this trend came into yeah. the craft room, I think this is the one we gravitated towards I first. think so. I think so. So, this is called Double Cream, if I remember. Yes, it is. Double Cream. This is a specialty card. So, you have that gorgeous, what would you say, like a linen texture? I would say linen texture to this one, Yeah. yeah really pretty soft texture so it's a single-sided specialty card but it has that lovely luster on top of it as well. finish absolutely love it beautiful but it's it's a nice it's got the pattern to it but it's not an in-your-face pattern so you can put it behind you mm -hmm. can layer on top of it you can use that as your layer so you have got the detail there it's very nice it's going to be a good all-rounder i think that one and it is a good weight for constructing this box as well yes um, so i can see one over there that has mm -hmm. been made from this so it is a good one that you can use for your base construction too yeah. if you want to we then have some craft perfect this is in buttermilk yellow which is just a beautiful bright yellow shade fantastic this then is our new craft perfect for the trend so this is sea salt green i love it is a beautiful that. green shade it's just a really nice soft kind of in between color it is it kind of goes really nicely with a lot of other shades it does yeah i can see this with rose pink would be oh, beautiful definitely. with that yeah you could definitely put that in there probably quite a few of the pinks oh definitely thinking about it it's a lovely it's a lovely kit all together isn't it i mean mm -hmm. look at those colors already that's yeah. like such a gorgeous palette just all together and yet there's more <laughs> wow <laughs> so we have now this one i believe this is going to be a new one so this is champagne gold which is again going to be probably really hard to pick up because it's just going to look like a mirror card but it has a beautiful very slight hint of gold yeah, to it. Yeah, it's a softer gold, isn't it? It's very yes. soft, very subtle. Try yeah. it on. Try it on camera too. Oh, Let's try see if that uh, with the lights. Can you see? It's just going to reflect what's behind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's such a subtle colour. Honestly, it is beautiful in real life, though. Yeah. Um, like I say, a very soft subtle gold colour yes. which kind of fits in with the kind of spring tones that it we does. have going it on here it does it trend there doesn't it it, it fits does. very very well beautiful over there yeah then we have Hello Iri Miri <gasps> love an Iri Miri um, so this one is Water Sprite um, so your green undertones but then obviously you have that beautiful rainbow iridescence look at that isn't that just beautiful you're never going to photograph oh. it though <laughs> no never in a million years you're, you've what you it's see, I know, what you see is just completely different to what you photograph. It's, it's yeah. so bizarre. Iridescent Miri has always amazed me. 
I can't even get it to show green on the camera. <laughs> no. it's, it's just, it That's looks flat I mean. or it's a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. But trust me, it's very green <laughs> it in its undertone. It is. And then we have a beautiful satin as well. And this oh, is nice. lovely. Um, so this is spring silver. So this is one of our existing shades in our very satin nice. mirror finish there. So is that. There we go. Let's try that one. Ta da! Mm. Much better. <laughs> So yeah, nice soft green. Yeah. When we know the shine, love. the shine. Exactly. And this is great for showing up all of those debossed details. Yes. Um, so yes, all of those nice little sentiments that we've got uh -huh. in the um, dice set. I was about to say stamp set. Not a stamp set. <laughs> dice dice set, set. Obviously. I called everything a dice set yesterday from the website. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> Just, Me and Al yeah. thought we had the wrong teeth. I, I just don't know what was going on. <laughs> We've had a bit of an odd week, really. Yeah, it's been yeah. one of those kinds it's, of it's weeks. It's been so busy. Weeks. Always so busy. Okay, years then. Shady, <laughs> shady acres. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shady, shady acres. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on um, to, I think, one of my most favourite piece of cardstock. Once I had got over a double cream and I saw this, I was like, well, <laughs> hello. Um, so this is completely new, something that I, as far as I'm aware, we've not We've had never before. done this before. And we, we're touching this Idea. for a very good reason. So other than, unlike our normal glitter card, this has a really soft finish. It's not that kind of no. scratchy glitter, I, can, I would just say. I can, you can see the two together. So this is our normal. You can tell that that is glitter, which is sort of embedded into some sort of adhesive to or stay on the top some of kind that. Some of magic, yeah. Magic, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but this one, it's it's so soft. There's there's it's no like a soft feel to it. Yeah. Alex is giving us weird looks. I know. From the you, side, you know, as we're I, stroking glitter cardstock. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain the difference no. in two different cardstocks, but you can see it. You can definitely see the difference yeah, there. Yeah, the difference in texture. You? And this is an ombre effect, so it is an ombre glitter card, and this is an opalescent green. So you kind of go from that really soft, pale, almost silver at mm -hmm. one end um, to a much deeper green at that end. And but hopefully, do you know what? You try can, that one. If you layer with that, you've you've actually got not just the ombre, but in the middle, but you've got two completely colors, two completely different colors of green. Yeah. In the uh, in the the cardstock itself. That's it. So you could, if you cut the same leaf die from one end and the other, it's going to look like it's two completely separate sheets of cardstock. But I it's love just it. the one. It's really Absolutely pretty. Absolutely love it. I hope if Candice is looking. Candice? Can we have more colours, <laughs> please? More colours in this one. Thank you very much. We really, really we like would, this we one. We would quite like that. Yes, definitely. And then because this is a trend sneaky peek, of course, we have some patterned paper as well. So we have four different designs in here. Let me just fan these out. I would if I were you. Somewhere like this. So this side we have beautiful green shades on here. Be green and cream. So it is definitely a cream undertone, I think, on this yes. one. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And we've got some leaf designs. You've got some sort of more geometric prints and a sort of flowery design on this one. They're very subtle. Again. Very subtle. It is just a very subtle overall. The whole mm -hmm. sort of trend is spring. Beautiful. I mean, spring meadow. If you thought of a spring meadow, mm -hmm. you'd see lots of different greens coming up. You'd see the odd pop of colour. This is what you'd expect to see. Yeah. And then on the reverse of here, so this is where we start to get a little bit more colour in here. Do you here. know what? This, I can These just gorgeous see like myself using that a lot. Daisies, almost, aren't they? Oh, they're, they're kind of beautiful. Doodle daisies. You know those ones that you draw? Yes. The kind of yeah. bubble, bubble flowers. That is exactly what that makes me think Fabulous. of. Fabulous. And we've got a nice little subtle yellow dot on here. Got another leafy design as well, and then just a nice zigzag in a couple of different shades of cream and yellow on there. Beautiful, so beautiful soft papers, and you get and two sheets of each. Two sheets of each, exactly. A four, lots you can do with that. It's quite a sturdy weight as well. Mm -hmm. So lots of card backgrounds. I made some flowers from it. I did leaves, did. all kinds of things you could use that for. Fantastic. So, shall what we, we do next? Put your little Let's put construction this together. together. Let's. So, I have already pre cut. Okay, let's take some of these out of the way. So, you've got a bit more room. Let me just grab the die. So, like we said, this is honestly the most easy box to put together. You have your one die, 
So just this main die piece here, you're going to want to cut that twice to make your main box. And that's so you love with... when you can get a box of the one sheet of card. Absolutely, yeah. This is just one sheet and you'll have quite a bit Extras, left down here and yeah, down here. Yeah. So if you wanted to add some embellishments, mm -hmm. if you wanted to cut a tag out of there, you could fit that in the waist as well. So to put this together, super simple. You are going to want to fold on all of the score lines and you're going to want to do this fairly well because this box does have a couple of odd curves to it, shall we say, yeah. in the top. Um, so especially this corner here, you want to make sure that is nicely creased. Just do all of these. My helpful assistant will start on the other one for me. I'm that. I'm standing here like a spare part when I could be <laughs> helping, helping you. So hopefully you can see on here, you've got deboss lines coming up here that's going to form the sort of crease in the top of the box and you're going to want to bend those under. I'm going to re-remember how to do this. So just hold underneath along that score line and you're going to want to bend back along that one like so and then you're going to want to come in and bend under onto that one as well. It will yeah. start I always, to... I always find if I put my, my, nail. my nail underneath it, yeah. I'm kind of guiding it as well. Exactly. It does, it does. Um, but it, it wants to bend along that score yeah. line because... It's got that embossed line. Exactly, it's got that perfect line. So you've done that side and we do exactly the same on the other side. So just hold underneath and just bend it in. And this is what's going to form that nice sort of top peak on the box once you've glued it together. So this score line that I folded here is actually going to end up folding in the opposite direction mm -hmm. to the rest of the box. Um, so if you want to just go in and fold that the other way just to encourage it as well, then you can do so. So that's like that. I'm going to pop this down and grab myself, obviously. I'm doing this with wet glue today. I'm not even doing it with red tape. Oh, you're so good. I'm brave is what I am. <laughs> okay, bit of wet glue down here. And obviously, as we usually say, less is more. Uh, absolutely, especially with the box, you definitely do not want that to walk on out the sides. No. So, pop that down the glass. Uh, just used our normal Craft Perfect 216. I have, yes, for this. Because the top, because you have these folds, you probably do want a slightly lighter mm -hmm. weight cardstock. I wouldn't recommend going in with a 300 or even a 260 or a 240 for this. Probably I would go with that. If you have a look at the samples, they they'll have, tell you yeah, otherwise. They will tell me otherwise. <laughs> I wouldn't do it on camera, let's put it that <laughs> way. <laughs> but if you want to give it a go in a heavier weight, then absolutely do it. It is possible. It is definitely possible. I'm looking yeah. at one here that's been done in mirror cardstock. So apparently, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? Uh, so to make sure that I get this to glue nice and squarely, I folded it on this line here, pop some glue on here. This is what I like about square or rectangular boxes. Oh, me too. You've got something to press against. Exactly. And because I'm literally just folding this over, I don't have to try and make lines meet up mm -hmm. or match and hold them in place. I can just sit here like this yes. and, you know, wait for my glue to dry. But because it's deluxe, it does it nice and quickly. So bottom then, I'm going to fold in the two smaller tabs and pop some glue just along the edge of there. Fold in one tab first of all, and while I'm holding that, I'm just going to do a bit of multitasking and pop some glue on the edge of the other side, and then just fold that together, just making sure that this is nice and square. And then, do you know what I should have brought down with me? What? A um, oh. folder so I could pick it from on. the bottom. So, Hang on. I, I know. Oh, sorry, it. I'll just do this. <gasps> Here we go. <laughs> Needs must. Needs must. <laughs> it's just press those two tabs together because you don't have anything to press yes. underneath. It is easier to flip it over and push it down. With whatever's on your desk, clearly. <laughs> Bottle of glue. If you could fit, you know. If you've got a craft creaser or that would the, be the better um, tool. What's pick. the other one? No, the pick is too too sharp. Oh, okay. You're just gonna pierce through. The, the Teflon or the, the Teflon but the Teflon Foldy, um, tally thing. Yeah, yeah. you you know what we're talking. Well, about. Well, there's one of those um, kicking around. No idea. I have no idea what it's called. 
I can't see right. This so anyway, is the glue is wet. Problem. We just don't know the names of things. <laughs> The porky thing, the, the sticky thing, the, the tacky thing, thing, the slicey thing. What do you call a button? A pressy thing. A pressy, pressy. pressy. <laughs> Obviously, what else would you call a button? Exactly. <laughs> Press it. So, to get the box then to go together, you're basically going to pinch these sides in. So, this is where you're going to want that score line to go inwards. It's going to be so. a valley instead of a mountain. Exactly. And it's then just a question of manipulating your cardstock to pull it. All together. You if you actually push, push those these, down, it actually yeah, pulls it in for you. That's fab. And just make sure your corners are all nice and square. Do and you know what else is... we didn't bring down? Thin ribbon. Thin ribbon, yeah, we didn't do that. <laughs> but yeah, you would pop some ribbon, some twine. Yeah, anything. Anything through there to hold that together. And that is your finished box. And then obviously cut lots and lots of those decorative panels in. Yeah. A whole array of pretty papers. Beautiful. Decorate it up. So, shall we have a look at some samples? Shall we? Let's. We've got some cards as well. We have, yes. Which is very innovative to do with these uh, these panels. But we will show you the boxes first because I'm sure that's what you're going to want to see. <laughs> so this one has been made out of the buttermilk mm -hmm. card with the iridescent mirror. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. Pretty. Beautiful sheen. But this has got a shaker on the front. So if I just just show you there, you can see those little bits. So it's the, um, the, the confetti yeah, pieces, the confetti that opal pieces cream. are in there. So that's lovely. And a nice little tag saying, with love. And you can see that DBOSS tag there. Yeah. Mirror this cards are is perfect oh, for fabulous, those debuffs. Isn't it? They've even got some of the. Um, I was going to say your your, <laughs> your favorite ombre is on the back there. I'm just going to send stroke. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm thank not the only one. Much. That one's from Ruth. Oh, thank That's you, Ruth. Beautiful. beautiful. But I'm not the only person who sticks and strokes papers. It's a it's, it's a whole it's thing. It's a crafter thing. Let us know if you do in the comments. Oh, definitely. I'm sure. I'm sure. Please tell me I'm not alone. And people. I can tell you what people do. They will buy duplicates of paper. Yes, one to keep. So one to keep and one to, one to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But obviously Definitely. don't just store your pretty paper. You must use it. You must it. use them. But that's why we've given you duplicates of yeah. the... One to keep, one to keep, one to go. <laughs> of pattern papers. <laughs> You've got two sheets of each. <laughs> there we go. So this is another one that has been done in that beautiful buttermilk coloured craft perfect. And this one is actually, you can see just here, we've got a little acetate window on the front. That's very nice. So it's been cut into, so Ruth has cut into the box as she's constructed it mm -hmm. and uh, and popped some acetate behind for some Indeed. strength. And we've got some panels in that beautiful patterned paper on the side. I really like this pattern, the kind of little sprigs of leaves it's on there. Beautiful. Which is very pretty. Mm -hmm. Then we've got a nice die cut panel on the back. And another one of those gorgeous debossed tags. And I'm going to, I feel terrible doing this. But I want to have a look at what she's put inside <laughs> as well, because I can see that she's decorated them. So inside here we have a little set of note oh, cards. Oh, that's lovely. Have also been decorated. So with those decorative panels for the box. I'm assuming that Ruth has cut them with the outer edge here as well. Do you reckon that's the same size? Yes, I yeah. think so. I More think it's the so we've got that beautiful oval shaped die cut in oh, there yeah. with the stone drops. Oh, I'm so glad you opened that now. Look how pretty that is. Ah. So it's another way of using the dies if you, you know, if you want to make this as a gift box to give to something. Imagine getting a nice little box like this. Oh, it's not lovely. With a cute little set of note cards inside. And then look at that little thank you card or thanks card on there. Fabulous. So pretty. Love that. Very cute. I would love to receive that as a gift. Yeah, card. me too. That's fabulous. Very nice. Really well, really nicely thought out, you know? Yeah, definitely. So I have got from uh, Christine. Christine has used the sea salt mm -hmm. cardstock for this one with some of the pattern paper. Sorry, I'm, I'm hogging it to myself. <laughs> with, with some of the pattern paper on the front. But she's used one of the panels, which shows you that that's possible too. Mm hmm which is very nice. It just frames it nicely, doesn't it? And she's popped some uh, some of the drops just around the top there. She's cut the sentiment and backed it with the ombre. And she's just caught it. So it's just getting lighter down to the bottom there. 
Very nice. Which is very nice. And a nice little with love tag with that sprint. I like that the tags they look really nice layered together as well. So you've yes. got obviously a patterned paper one there and yeah. a mirror Isn't card that stock. lovely? And just the um, ombre card stock there as well. Showing that beautiful pattern. I think we're going to start using this on everything, right? I think so. Look out for that coming oh, up in look at it. packaging coming up. <laughs> I, think, I think you'll definitely be seeing this a lot. It's just beautiful. so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks for that one, Christine. I'm going to try, I've got a card here. Now, this is also from Christine. It's a gorgeous card that has been made using elements from the die set. So you can see all of these pieces here are those nice little tags just cut and yeah. layered across the front of the card. Very nice. But that panel there, that's been cut in, I think, is it? It's another shaker. Yeah. Oh, yes, I can see it now. Sorry. Yeah. So you've got some more of the confetti inside there. So you've just got a piece of acetate behind this Fabulous. die cut in that nice ombre glitter. Um, you've even got that beautiful lemon sherbet glitter card in the background of here just to really make that die cut piece pop. And in fact, she's used embossing powder. So a nice frayed leaf Ooh. embossing powder on there. Can I see? You can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. So if you just swipe the whole thing in clear mark, yep. put your embossing powder on and uh, heat it up, and then it's another way of using embossing oh, powder. that's lovely. That's very, very nice, just to make things match. Exactly. Exactly, because it does blend in really nicely yep. with all of the colours that we have in here. So it's a gorgeous card. Thank you very much for that one, Christine. I have got... <gasps> oh, look at that. Do you know, when I opened the box for this one, because this one came uh, into the craft room instead of going mm -hmm. straight to Sophie... So uh, this one is from Shilpa and she's used really cleverly. I wouldn't have thought of doing this mm -hmm. at all. So she's used all of that beautiful confetti just around the outside of the panel. It's so pretty. And they all stay. I know. I, I need to know what she's used on there. It's fun, Let us know it? which yes. glue and yeah, how did you do it. <laughs> I wonder if Shilpa has Maybe perhaps tape? done this for... Uh, for something and she's got a little step by step. Maybe, maybe. She can just give us a little hint. This box has actually been constructed in that double cream specialty yes, card. Yes, it has. That's the one that you could see earlier, yeah. wasn't it? So you can see, if I just pop that around that side there. Oh, you can see the sheen on that now. Yeah. That is lovely, isn't it? And you can tell that everyone is loving this ombre paper because it features very heavily. It does. Most people have used that one. <laughs> so it we're not really alone is. in loving No, that. it's going to be a favourite. So uh, Shilpa's used the main panel cut from the beautiful papers, the ombre card stock for the sentiment, and she's just finished it off with a couple of little little, little flowers that she had there, little plastic. Um, are they plastic or are they? They almost look beaded. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? Mm, I really gorgeous. like those. I really like those. And a, and a little bit of twine. Nice twine. To finish it off. And mm -hmm. she's repeated that on the other side of the box as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love that. Gorgeous sample. Yeah. So I have a box here that has been constructed in the satin mirror card to absolutely make a liar out of me to say that <laughs> you want to do it in a lighter weight. So satin mirror. Now I wanted to just show this bit right here. So we were talking about that little tiny D-box die. Oh, oh, yes. I've got it just here. Let me pull it back in so you can see it. So I have this die here. I have to show this, this tiny that I, one. I didn't I didn't make a fuss of. So I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna hog some just of your line like here, this deboss. So because of the satin card, obviously it really shows off those deboss details nicely. And you right. also then have I've got the same deboss. So this is the one that Christine made. And she made it out of Craft Perfect. So she's debossed it and obviously thought then, mm, it's not actually showing up enough. So what she's done is she's gone in with a pen. Just a white and she's gel pen or something. Wiped probably a gel pen. And she's just traced around that outline mm -hmm. and filled it in. So Isn't that lovely? Just had a little bit of extra detail to the edge. It's beautiful. It is. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah. I, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot sorry. that. I wanted to show that as well. It's but so it was in front pretty. of me. I thought, oh, I'm going to remember that. And then yeah, did I it. didn't. <laughs> so we have um, as well on here. We've got that gorgeous eerie mirror behind that, and that nice water sprite card. In yeah, it's just it's just rainbowing. It's it green, is. honestly. <laughs> Trust us. 
it's green when you look at it. This is just the weird thing. You cannot show this on camera Because it just reflects whatever is around yeah. and shows all of the rainbows. <laughs> and obviously we have a lot of bright lights on us here, so it's just showing that. But yes, beautiful iridescent miracle behind here. Um, that nice champagne. I've completely forgotten what it's called already. Champagne gold, obviously. Champagne <laughs> gold. <laughs> oh, mirror card sock. So honestly, you and Alison never rubbing off for me. I used to be the I'm one that remembered so words and sorry. everything. <laughs> I moved into Shady Acres and that was it. <laughs> My life was over. So champagne gold mirror card for this sentiment here. And it's some of the panned paper that's behind it. And then we've got one of those nice stamped sentiments on there as well. That's what I was going to say. The stamped and sentiments look so on the tag. nice on the tag. Yeah. And then it's layered with um, the other tag that has that nice yes. sort of scalloped edge on there. Beautiful. Absolutely. So pretty. I've got a couple of cards left. Ooh. I've got a tag, actually. I've got a little tag here. Oh, wow. I know. Look at this. So these leaves, and I don't know if they're from... Are they, are they from the kit anywhere? Not I can no. see. No. Right, so I think... I think this is made by Kate. I think Kate's been making other things. I recognise. I think mm. Kate's been making other things with, with this lovely, lovely trend. I think it was from a previous kit. Was it? The one that came out with Harvest Moon. The <gasps> little box. Could have been. It had little leaves with that. I'm sure it did. Uh, isn't that lovely? So she's made, she's taken the whole box, mm -hmm. cut the front panel off, because you've already got that hole there. Yeah. And she's made a tag from it. Such a clever idea. How lovely is that? With all of those different colours and cards, just to really show them all off. That's why I wanted to just keep moving it, because it's just catching the light, mm -hmm. all the different the shades. Different finishes and colours in there. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't really that lovely? Pretty. I really, really love that. It's and gorgeous. She's cut it. So she's stamped and embossed a sentiment for the tag there she's popped it onto that nice bright uh sherbet cardstock mm -hmm. but she's cut around nice bit of fussy cutting cut around her word in that's well a proper stamper that is you know oh, happy yeah. to fussy cut are you happy to fussy cut yes <laughs> i am a proper stamper that's yes. very convincing <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's a very very nice little tag there beautiful i have oh look at this huge card i've got to show this so i've got all wow. the different pieces that wow. I've got on there isn't that pretty that's amazing so this is also from kate so she's been very busy she has lots of different pieces on here so we have a couple of different craft perfect cards you've got the buttermilk and the sea salt green she's used the spray Yay! Exactly, which is all, all of that shine that you are picking up there is all from that gorgeous sparkle spray. Oh, and this that looks is so good. Stencil. I can't remember the name of the stencil. I can't remember the name of the but stencil But I know it is still available on the website, so you can definitely still get that one. Um, you've got that beautiful lemon sherbet cardstock in the background as well. Oh, my voice is going, apparently. I know. Mm, I was just thinking me. that. Um, we've then got some more of that lemon sherbet cardstock, obviously, the ombre glitter. Everybody's using it. Everyone loves up. that. But just what a pretty card. And how nice to have the sentiment split. So you've yes. got that different card stock under the word you. Exactly. So it, it does make it pop, doesn't it? And look, just that <gasps> shimmer is beautiful. Very, very nice. I've got one here from Christine where she has filled in. Wow. All right. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see the texture. So these leaves, it's a panel mm -hmm. from the box, the leafy panel from the box, and she's filled it in with the stone drops. Yep. Isn't that Such fab? Such a good idea. Yeah, I love it. And then layered some little strips of uh, paper. Um, I think it's the buttermilk, like is it? Ribbon. It's the, um, the double cream, the special Double tea. cream, that's right, sorry. Not the it almost looks like ribbon, doesn't it? The way that's been cut down the side. Beautiful. And they, they probably just off cut. Mm -hmm. Christine likes to use the little strips that she cuts off things, you know, when she trims things down. Mm -hmm. I'm 
I just assume that Christine's desk has got a little box at the side with all these bits in, and she goes, pieces. "Ooh, oh, I could just use that on there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wonder what that would look like on there." And you know, absolutely, it's... use it up. Like I have a scrap spin on my desk upstairs. I have a scrap spin next to me because obviously mm-hmm. we cut a lot of card, but you can always find a little bit that you can mm-hmm. use here and there. Definitely, definitely use up those pieces. But she's is that Alison's excuse for that full desk? Mm. Yeah. It's yeah. just a scrap spin. <laughs> <laughs> You can't say that. She's not here to defend us. <laughs> no, indeed. That's no. so mean. So she's used the sentiment, the die-cut sentiment in the oval, drop-shadowed it mm-hmm. with the um, sea salt. I'm assuming that's a sea salt there. You can just see it, it peeping out from there. And that lovely lemon sherbet. Which is such a gorgeous colour. It's so bright and it gives that amazing pop of it, colour. It makes things stand out, doesn't it? Yes. It really it really helps to, to show what you're what you're trying to put your focus on exactly. so yeah that's my last one i think you've got I've one got, more i've got one more box and i do have another card oh, as well. God, that's good i obviously had extras i think so i didn't count very well did i <laughs> so this box has also been made in that gorgeous buttermilk craft perfect but hopefully you can see on here doo-doo-doo. getting hands waved at me um also we have a beautiful shimmer spray down the side oh. as well Oh, lovely. And then again, we have that deboss detail in very, here. Very, very nice. So I have a feeling that what has been done here, I'm going to presume, mm-hmm. Christine, correct me if I'm wrong here, but probably spritz a bit of your shimmer spray onto mm-hmm. your messy mat, grab a paintbrush, and then fill in that deboss detail in there. Oh, isn't that lovely? I really like that. So pretty. And then we've just got to some... have that. It's just like gilded in then, isn't it? It is. And it's like such a little touch, but it makes them just look finished, mm-hmm. I think. Lots more beautiful flowers in here, vellum flowers, with just a little bit of um, embossing powder or a little bit of zhuzh on the end. And then hopefully you can see those little confetti in the centre of those flowers. This is what we're talking wow. about, making your bobby dazzlers, as yeah. Jodie would say. So a drop of glue, sprinkle on some of your confetti, leave it to dry, and then obviously brush away or mm-hmm. pick away anything that isn't where you want it to be. But they make beautiful flower centres as well. Fabulous. Beautiful. Absolutely. And then my very last one is another card by Kate. I absolutely love this. It's a little sort of tri-panel, same panel cut with different cardstock and layered up in different ways just to give it a completely different look. I'm sure that we've probably got a nice little quick make coming up with this one. Well, maybe. Yeah, Keep your have. eyes peeled. Your eyes peeled. <laughs> I, think, I think if you look... Make sure you are following us on across all of our social media channels uh-huh. and probably you'll see how this is put together coming up somewhere very soon. <laughs> Can you remember where we are now? We are on... Twitter. Yes. No. Facebook. Yes. Instagram. Yes. And YouTube. Obviously. Because <laughs> that's where we are. But yes, I love this. And Venom again. Wow. Um, so we have um, that stamp, the oval stamp in oh, here and it's been beautiful. embossed. Um, with that embossing powder on the front onto vellum, which is a beautiful very way of brave doing that. thing to do. Very brave. <laughs> I applaud you. I'm not always that brave. Um, stamp platform definitely for that. Oh, one. absolutely. <laughs> but it's so pretty, and it gives a lovely finish. And then we've got that buttermilk cardstock behind, and it the vellum just kind of softens the colour. I love using vellum for that. And then again, another stamped and fussy cut and wow. embossed sentiment. That is so, well. so brave to be fussy cutting around those. And so Karen is going to be showing you how to do this on social media, right? Oh, yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and there's that box. Like that. Coming, coming oh, shaky. Oh, shaky. <laughs> You'll have to have a guess as to whose hands you see put this together. <laughs> Maybe we could do that as like a little contest, you know, who, whose hands have put oh, this card together. Like he does the contest, is Karen standing up or sitting down? <laughs> can, can we tell today? Who's sitting, who's standing? <laughs> oh dear, we do have some love. So that is, that is the kit. That I is mean, the it kit. is an amazing kit. It is fantastic and it's such good value. So don't forget, you can get this on our website. In the UK, it's £30 if you subscribe. And in the USA, it's $33 if you, if you subscribe. But if you want to just buy it as a one-off purchase, you can also do that. A little bit more expensive. But if you just want to try it, if you want to try one, 
before you want to subscribe. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It, it might be worth give it a go. Just just giving that a go. Um, and in the UK, it's thirty five pounds, and in the USA, it's thirty nine dollars ninety nine. But what we haven't mentioned. I was just about to say. <gasps> oh, have we have we been got? told that we can tease. Yes. Just we, tease. We not, can't tell you what it is. No, but there is going to be a little sneaky freebie. Oh, it's not little. No, it it's is. not little at all. It's an amazing freebie. It is. Yes. And we've just um, begged. We have. And we've got them. Yes. <laughs> We've got them upstairs, so uh, I shall it's awesome. be. awesome. You definitely want one. I shall be. Um, yeah. yeah, I can't even see anything. No, oh, she's going to no, give it away. No. You definitely want one. You don't want to miss out on this. No, you will use it probably every day. Absolutely, I know I will. Yes, yeah, I definitely will be too. So yeah. yes, there is something extra free in this kit that you will want, and you really will want, and you will use, and you will use every day. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to tag us in your mix. Yes, I would love to see what you make with this kit and all of the beautiful colours that are in there. Catch us on all the socials. All of them. Your Facebook. Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram, your YouTube. Sign up for the newsletter. Yes. Uh, YouTube notification bell Mm. because, (laughs) thank you, (laughs) because you don't ever want to miss some of the 50 million videos that this one's going to be doing because she's got that list that's going up here as long as her arm it's actually it's a spreadsheet now and it's quite, it's quite <laughs> it's a spreadsheet <laughs> it is it's a it thorough is an, spreadsheet it's yeah, an yeah, actual list we also don't actual. want to miss when we do something live you oh, definitely we, want to be notified nice and promptly about that when we do something fun yeah because <laughs> we, we we like we like to play Alex we like to play Yes, we, we like do. we like a bit of fun. Yes, we do. Okay, he's giving me the eyes now, which tells me that I've got to say thank you for joining us and happy crafting. <laughs> <laughs>